Hello everyone, welcome to the last part of uh, this series, uh, Vertical Urbanism. My name is Amir Ahmed, uh, I'm an Egyptian architect, computational designer, and co-founder of Exact Architecture Studio. Uh, today we will finish this model, we will create the connection parts between uh, the neighborhoods that we created last time and uh, also uh, maybe edit uh, a little bit of, uh, uh, of the Grasshopper script. So, uh, in part one, we created uh, this unit, uh, and uh, basically it was a Rhino modeling, nothing fancy. Uh, in part two, we jumped into Grasshopper and started to create a twisted boxes and started to create uh, to morph uh, uh, what we created in Rhino uh, into Grasshopper. Uh, in part three, we started to control uh, the data uh, the, the, and uh, creating uh, a various uh, iterations of, uh, of, of these neighborhoods. Uh, each one uh, is different. Uh, each one uh, has its own unique design and character, uh, yet they are sharing uh, the same units. Uh, we, we created these in, uh, in Rhino and we started to manipulate them in Grasshopper. Uh, the file for part 3 is available on Patreon, so you can get access to it and uh, also sh uh, special thanks for all my Patreon supporters. Also the latest one uh, has, uh, uh, your account has no name, please let me know your name. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Let's start. Here we go. Uh, last time uh, we created this and today we want to create this tower. Uh, we want to create the connections between uh, between the uh, let's say uh, the, the neighborhoods and uh, also the, the this level right here. So first of all I would like to create uh, this uh, I would like to create these units so let me delete everything in here and also disable this uh, today we will have a lot of work uh, to do in here but uh, this what uh, this let me show it a little bit like this this is what we created uh, in in last time All of these uh, we created last time. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I want to disable all of this. Not disable, maybe disable only those. And show. Okay, I will create these two units from scratch. zoom to selection I will create these two units from scratch not 100% from scratch but I, I will base them on on these uh, on, on these units because they they should be connected to them so let me show you this is the sub D that we will work on so I will basically get someone right here maybe you know get it away like this and simply uh, go to the grid show me more grid extent may make it like 400 okay because I want to use the grid as a reference let's go to the top uh, again show me the grid 400 okay that's perfect so now we have this that's perfect okay so uh, what I want to do right now is simply uh, ignoring any pieces that I will not work on so such as uh, any faces that I will not use like this one I will not use it I will not use this one at all uh, also I will not use this one and now I would like to remove the unnecessary faces let's go to the sub D let's go to the top in here uh, hello Chinmay, uh, I think, uh, thank you, thank you for joining me. 
I'm fine. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, let's go to the top and simply uh, maybe let's go to the shaded mode. It's better to see what's going on and ignore all of this. Maybe the flat mode should be better. Okay, and uh, ignore these. Ignore these until here. Yes, I don't want to see those. Okay, delete. And also I don't want to see these two and the ones in, in, in down there. Uh, same thing in here. Okay, and of course remove these. Don't need them. So now all all I have is these boxes, which is great because that's what I need for from this part. I want uh, whatever I will build in here. I want it to connect with with the top and the bottom of of this part. So let's connect uh, these. So first of all. Let, let's join them because uh, they are each each face uh, on its own not each face but let's join them all okay let's join because it will be easier to uh, work with them and now uh, let's select those curves and those curves and uh, we want to bridge but I want my bridging to be let's say uh, four five let's try five uh, one two three four five six seven yeah I think five will, will will work again I will do the same in here double click and double click and bridge S five and again double click double click bridge okay and double click double click bridge okay perfect after that I would like to uh, con create a connection between here and here uh, let's bridge those okay but I want this to be one I don't want too much okay and in here also uh, bridge Okay, so show me. Yeah, I would like this to, to look like that. I would like to select the middle one in here. Bridge. And the middle one in here. Bridge. And uh, the same thing will, will bridge those. And bridge those. So now I, I will have this base that I, I will move forward from it. So... Uh, now I would like to create uh, this con let's let me show you I would like to create come on this thing in here to carry uh, this cantilever so what I will do is basically create selecting those faces okay and maybe we should zoom a little bit yeah okay and go to sub D go to uh, in uh, inset uh, sub D edges okay and after inset uh, he will ask if you want to make it a mood or single in this case I want it single so let's make it single and uh, you can uh, pick whatever you want for now let's make it point one it doesn't matter okay and after that uh, let let me show let's go to the flat mode yeah after going to the flat mode maybe reduce it a little just like that okay and after that one to the top actually one is too much so maybe you can simply select point five and uh, another point five yeah it uh, it's it's perfect after that we want to bridge those okay uh, with one okay no problem and uh, I would like to uh, ex uh, extrude this with let's say one or two negative two actually it's yeah let's drag it like this okay maybe this uh, this one uh, is perfect another one will be wider a little and uh, I will do the same in here one and after that another one wider okay and after that I would like to let's look at it yeah it looks something 
perfect so after that maybe we can um, create select this one and select this one and create an extrusion out of them I want the extrusion to fit uh, until here so I will go to the top and okay yeah let's select the vertices and go to gumball gumball relocate and select anything in here okay and simply go to perspective or any view you can see from it and where's the red one let's go to the top okay let's move it yeah drag it like this hopefully it will not be messed up yeah perfect I want it to be fit uh, in here because I want to join them uh, in the future okay and after that I will do the same one I, I will do the same thing in here um, extrude like this and go to the top move let's move it from here to here okay perfect so this is what it looks like okay uh, maybe we need to drag this one extrude it a little one and another one yeah so we will have uh, our balconies uh, looking like this um, okay after that I will I will simply uh, select those fa uh, those edges okay and this one and we would like to create a bevel yes but I would like my bevel to be creases creased so uh, first of all I would like to be proportional yep something like this maybe if we select it okay actually we'd like to connect this with uh, with something in here but for now let's ignore these not ignore them let's fix this uh, first of all I, I don't want this or this and select this one bridge one okay and of course remove the top and the bottom and this one or actually remove it at all and simply um, select the edges in here and like this one and this one this one and bridge it doesn't bridge because they are not connected so select those bridge and select those not this one select those and bridge okay and we will we will figure this part out later let's uh, continue this uh, now this is what it looks like so I will simply select those again actually let's go to the right maybe perspective select this and isolate and go to the right uh, and simply select all of these it would be easier to select them in here uh, I want to select uh, those let's say uh, loop okay more loop select this loop loop let's go to the perspective are they all selected no 
we need to select this and I don't want this that's annoying okay double click double click that's perfect we need to select the, the top part uh, manually Okay, so I think we we forget this one. Now I think we selected everything we need. Uh, after that, we want to add crease, so it will look like this. That's that's kind of perfect. And uh, maybe we can add something in here to just make it interesting. Yeah, like this. In here it looks fine, in here it looks fine, in here I want to add this one, maybe uh, move this a little bit back, not so much, make it less, uh, let, let's move it 0.5 and move this one like 0.25, yeah, so it, it will give me uh, this effect, maybe I, sh I need to move all of this one more step, yeah, it looks much nicer hopefully and uh, after that I would like to create the glass before I create the glass let me let me show and I would like to create a connection between those two okay but before we move on we need to fix uh, whatever whatever happens in here okay and uh, make make those uh, separate and join them join these uh, Reese keep it okay no problem keep whatever you want and after that we can remove this crease aha uh -huh. it will not work because because if I showed you this this has uh, this uh, this face has two uh, let's say what let's uh, this face has one two three four uh, four vertices and we in here it's only one and two so these faces will not work out we need to remove them and uh, make them again so we will make this go to this edge and this edge and bridge but in the in, instead of one and two let's make it three okay and uh, do not join and keep the creases no no need for creases for this okay and simply uh, the same thing in here and the same thing in here okay and after that I would like to go let's isolate this and this okay ISO and let's go to the front uh, select those and move them from here to here and select those move them from here to here uh, that's perfect uh, after that I would like to join whatever happens in here let's join these all of them join and uh, actually we don't need creases in here so let's join them smoothly yeah perfect that's that's kind of the thing that that I want to okay after that show show yeah I would like to create some kind of a connection between this slab and and this uh, tower in here so uh, to do that we need to first of all we need to move it a little bit higher so let's go to the front uh, maybe uh, the right let's go to the top sorry and isolate these and after that go to the right okay and simply select all these faces right here yep 
and move it a little bit up let's say uh, move it 0.5 or something maybe another 0.5 so it will look like this perfect yeah it, it's almost uh, close to this part which is perfect and now uh, all I need to do is maybe we, we need to make this a little bit wider so let's move it one meter back no it looks weird okay let's keep it like this maybe we should move this no let's keep let's keep them like this okay after that I would like to create a connection between here and here so what I really need is selecting those uh, I think uh, I'd like to to draw a line in here so what I want to do is cutting those two so if I want to cut those two I will simply select those two and uh, go to uh, insert and go to the middle yep after that I will select this and this and go to gumball relocate and go to from here to here to anywhere hello Gumball relocate again from this vertex uh, to this to here and simply uh, select the blue one in here and zero so this one will be uh, aligned with this one and I would like to do the same one in here or it doesn't matter actually I would like to create the same thing in here again so let's create another one and uh, let's select this edge with this edge and again gumball relocate from this point to this point and to anywhere and simply select the blue one and zero so now this phase is uh, are they oriented to each other now if I selected those why this is happening this face should be aligned with this face and this face okay my apologies let's align those two gumbo relocate uh, from here to here to here and simply zero yes so this one should be aligned with this one and if I set bridge okay join and uh, do not crease and uh, make it one actually do not crease yes and make it one so it should look like this perfect uh, and uh, I will do the same in here so I simply select those and bridge actually before I bridge I can simply select both and bridge Okay, do not crease, simply join, are they perfect inside, yes they are perfect inside, okay, so now I can simply uh, fix the problem in here, by basically uh, creating uh, first of all I would like to make this as a separate object so I can simply uh, extract whatever happens in here and uh, I would like to do the same thing in here yes ignoring this and uh, extract it and again I would like to do the same thing in here with these okay this is going to be uh, a little messy before before we extract this part let's extract what's happening in here 
why this one happens looks like this okay we will fix this we need to select this and this move it down not so much let's move it 0.25 again yeah now it's perfect okay so uh, we would like to select these with these and this okay anything that parallel to each other we, we would like to f uh, explode it a little uh, uh, and also uh, these ones in here okay and uh, extract those perfect uh, the same thing will happen in here so this Okay, uh, I mistakenly I need to join these because I didn't uh, cut them perfectly. Now it's perfect. Hello, join, 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 join. Ignore the crease. Okay, smooth. Yeah. So now I have this one. I have this one. I have this one. okay I have this one now I should have this one right here I, I need to fix this part so I need to remove this from the from the equation in here okay and extract so now if I selected this it should be uh, the middle part in here It should be like this but of course I will fix the problem in here but now it's easier to fix because now I have this uh, let's isolate it and let's uh, let's say uh, let's m m hit the tab button to make it uh, like this and simply select everything in here and extract so now we have this so if I said show perfect now I need to fix uh, only those let's go to the top and uh, actually let's isolate those because it will be easier and select uh, the vertices in here okay and uh, ignore ignore the ones uh, in the bottom okay and simply actually do not yeah ignore them okay and uh, go to crease so it will look like this and it will be connected to the original one uh, of course I don't want these to look like this so uh, ignore make them yeah perfect show perfect 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 and this one now let's check our our surfaces this uh, we need to make the glass before we move on so uh, to make the glass I will select this and isolate and uh, I would like to create uh, let's let's make a copy let's uh, hit the alt and drag it let's say uh, two or something no two is very high one one is too much also let's make it only 0.5 okay and now I would like to create something uh, tricky uh, I will select the first one in here and the last one and after that double click on the on the next one in here and uh, so I will select the top I will do the same in here select the first one and the last one and uh, double click on here and after that I would like to bridge but in this case I don't want uh, I don't want it to be joined and I want it to be creased okay 
and after that remove uh, select uh, none and remove the top so now you will have your glass uh, to make it a little bit you know um, stylish select the curves in here uh, select the curve this one and this one and this one and this one and make it you know drag it like this uh, I will do the same one in here move it one backward yeah it will look like um, like it's it will look like this okay and simply show show so now we have this maybe we can what I have done okay now we can select these and maybe drag them one more to look yeah to look nicer maybe we can select those and drag them a little bit yeah these these are the balconies that we want to create to uh, join uh, everything together uh, actually we can make something interesting out of these parts in the middle maybe we can uh, you know make uh, you can select everything in here and maybe select uh, this and instead of making a group make it actually let's try to make it as a group okay and uh, the group should be let's say 0.5 enter it didn't work maybe 0.5 is too much let's say inst mode group uh, 0.2 okay why doesn't work okay let's ignore uh, let's select only these and make uh, make make them like this mode group point two okay maybe select this one not so much ignore the grid and just yeah make it tighter like this and maybe select this one make it wider now it's getting out make this one like this so okay let's extract those go to the top maybe let's select those curves uh, but yes and move them like this what I'm trying to do in here is creating some kind of a green area or something but for now let's ignore this okay not not so important for now uh, what's important is to c to create this unit uh, which we are already created and now let's uh, select these what I have done select uh, none and select all of the sub D in here and simply uh, enable the grid and select them yes that's perfect uh, now this one will be uh, will be the part uh, let's say between the neighborhoods uh, it will fit in in the middle between the neighborhoods and the row uh, let's say the floor that will be the connection between the bottom neighborhood and the part neighbor uh, the top neighborhood will be all connected together so we would like to create a uh, and editing for this so whatever we created in here we'd like to make it connectable so let's go to the top and let's go to uh, let's go in here 
select uh, those faces delete those faces delete the same the same delete so uh, and after that as uh, go to go to here select whatever we uh, select the vertices okay and uh, make sure to select those and uh, after that go to gumbo relocate again uh, go anywhere uh, in here to here to here and simply select the red one and zero so they will be perfectly fit uh, make sure to uh, crease them but I will crease them in a moment uh, again we will we will do the same thing gumbo relocate select any point and like this select that go to zero and after that select all the points and all the points and go to the front and ignore the the bottom ones yeah let's go to the front again ignore these and ignore these so it should be perfect after that crease so uh, when we crease let's yeah yeah so now it's connectable we you we can do the same thing that we did in here which basically creating uh, this unit and the other one uh, will be closed uh, in here and the other one will be closed in here uh, in the right one will be closed in the right one will be, will be closed in the left uh, but for this for this one we don't need all of that all all, all we need is just uh, these and uh, simply uh, importing them on grasshopper so uh, I will ignore what what I have prepared in here so I will disable it and make it in here and I will copy what I did last time and work on it build on it so okay Okay, and simply move all of this. There's something. Okay, this one should be here. And this one should be here. Perfect. So uh, I will work on on this part. But before I move on, I I would like to see. Uh, I would. Uh, I need to make these. Let's select those. Let's go to none and select those and make a copy out of them. Let's go to the top. And this is two to the right, two to the left. So I would like to do the same two to the right, two to the left. Perfect. And I would like to do the same in here. Actually, I would like to move this one. Yep and simply uh, copy this one in here so that's perfect now uh, all I need to do is selecting uh, make making them uh, meshes so extract mesh and move these meshes in here now they are perfectly fit in, in, in whatever I want to do and I would like to move to the next step which is basically uh, importing them in grasshopper and after importing them in grasshopper I'd like to do uh, to 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 merge them with the original ones that we did in uh, last time so uh, let's copy these okay and uh, enable uh, sorry preview on actually add these to the group okay so whatever is uh, is happening in here I need to uh, connect the same uh, in here because uh, after all all of these will be connected together at the end so let's select this one ok 
in here let's see it's basically uh, all of these ones so I will select the same one in here let's go to the top and simply select all of this ignore these so I will be selecting these okay let's go to the top again and select all of these ignore those and simply select all these meshes select multiple meshes okay so the first one uh, is exactly uh, as the or, uh, the old one again I will see what's going on in here which basically this one and this one so I will do the same I will do the same thing in here select uh, this select all these meshes and all these meshes and all these meshes so it's it will basically select the same meshes uh, as here okay and uh, let's connect those so join or select multiple meshes sorry and this one this one in here was uh, let's say uh, the entrance wall but in here I don't have an entrance wall so I will ignore it so I will simply select all of this and remove it and remove this three and after that I have uh, let's go to the top I have uh, let's say the vertical uh, ones uh, so I will select whatever vertical so it, it will be connected to it so now I will select this this wall and this wall and this wall so it will be uh, perfect hopefully and make sure to select whatever in here so let's go to the perspective see if we selected everything we need hopefully we selected everything we need and now select uh, multiple meshes I would like to see it in a different color so I will go to here so it will be easier to see what we selected and what we still didn't select let's go to the top again okay uh, maybe you should add something to it so whatever we want to add it should not be connected with those so if I said go to the top select those and select those select whatever happens in here nothing so select those and select those so now it should we we should be selecting all of this and maybe we should select um, this one yeah because it's not connected to them and maybe the floor we should select the floor because also the floor is not connected so again we select these and set multiple meshes it will be easier this way let's go to the top select um, now we, we would like to select these okay this one and this one Aha, uh -huh. you see, we should not select this one. Okay, let's go to the top again. Okay, uh, now we would like to select this one, these ones. Make sure that you selected everything. because this one is connected to this one that's why we can't uh, select this so we select these let's go to the top we select these and we select these okay and uh, maybe we select this yep perfect okay and set multiple meshes uh, now we would like to select this and this let's go to the top select those and select those 
select those, select those. Respective, did we select everything we need? Hopefully, and select the, the, the floor. So now we should be selecting select multiple. So now we selected all of this. So now uh, all we have is the glass. So in here we have the glass is in uh, in the front. So we can uh, add this glass at the same layer uh, and, uh, instead of this. So set set one mesh in here because it's one mesh. So now we have our our uh, our new group. Which is perfect. Uh, instead of this, we need uh, a new box, so we will select our new box in here. So that's perfect. We'd like to do the same Control C, Control V. Add to group. Let's go to the top. Let's add this one and add this one. Okay, uh, again, add them in here. Set multiple meshes. What did I say? Okay, select those and select those. Ignore those. So now select multiple meshes. Okay, after that, select. Uh, select those and those and uh, those I guess yes perfect and set multiple meshes after that uh, the third one is here which is basically uh, this one yes and uh, of course the let's go to the top select these with these so let's go to the perspective this should do it so now this is the third one set multiple meshes okay after that let's go to the top again select uh, the floor and the one behind it and select those okay and those and those uh, let's go to the perspective. Hopefully we selected everything we need Yes, and uh, Assembly set multiple meshes. So now we left with the glass select all of the glass and set multiple meshes Or it's one mesh. It doesn't matter. So now we have what we need uh, again set one box from this point to this point and finish so that's basically it for 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 the rhino part and uh for for the grasshopper uh, importing so whatever we did in here all, all we need now is simply select uh, everything and make sure it's on the units to morph and hide it because i don't need it and make sure to hide these also preview off so now I I will work on these part these two. Okay, maybe we need to change uh, their color just to make sure this is a, a meta hopper a meta hopper uh, plugin for grasshopper. And now uh, I would like to set the group properties. So select these groups and select. And after selecting, uh, go to the color and go uh, select any swatch uh, color swatch and select the colors so and change it whatever you want and you can simply uh, change all of them at once you know something like this just to make it a little bit different from from the original ones that we created before so now uh, now it's it's super simple because now I, I would like to first of all let me show you this these were the the grasshopper uh, these were the twisted boxes that we created and we uh, 
manipulated uh, in the last uh, in the last let's say uh, in the last uh, session okay so I would like to distangle this and double click okay and after that as you can see in here what we created is basically uh, called these parts and ignore 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 this so I would like to get this one so instead of uh, instead of uh, calling in here I would like to make a dispatch okay so it will be this and import this one in here so this should work the same it doesn't matter what we did in here so this one will be in here and this one will be in here okay so this is what we did and now I would like to gr grab these and try to now I would like to grab these and simply uh, work with them because after this I don't need this because now I have them in here uh, I would like to get those and do s the same work that I did in here with them so I will simply drag those control C control V okay and drag them in here and get me those and a little bit move move forward just a little bit and uh, if you see in here uh, these are uh, the ones in here and the ones in here I would like to grab those two so first of all this one is perfect because it's the same numbers the same everything nothing will change but I would like to do the same thing in here can you see those I would like to control C control V and grab those let me show you um, these are beerups, I guess. So let's select a beerup or something, just to show. These are those ones, and these are those ones. So I would like to grab those, okay? Which are here, but in, in instead of making so much divisions, I uh, it will be just one and one. So it will be a simple box, nothing fancy, okay? and uh, the same thing in here control c control v i'm building on on the previous session so it will be uh, it should be like this so now i will have those and i will have those and i will have those so that's basically what i what i need those should be uh, the the closed uh, units and those should be the open units because they will be connected uh, to each other and form a single uh, unit so that's basically uh, for this part uh, again I will simply merge those with those but I would like to import this one in the beginning so merge this actually before merge maybe you should move this a little yeah and merge these merge this one with this one so if I said list item this this is not cool okay we need to trim trim it back just to, sh to see what's going on simplify merge this is the first item okay so this is the first second third fourth yeah that's that's perfect that's what I need okay so now I would like to simply ignore this okay and here you are merge perfect so I don't need this and I would like to do the same thing in here 
So now I have three three outputs. This one is the original, uh, the original twisted boxes that we already created and manipulated on uh, on the last session. This one is uh, the second one, which is basically uh, which will basically be uh, the connections between the neighborhood vertically. Uh, sorry horizontally and this one will be bet in between uh, the neighborhoods or in between the the segments so that's perfect preview off maybe I can group them uh, just to see mm -hmm. control G and these ones control G these ones I don't need this okay control G and of course this one control G so this is what we edited today in this cluster it's not uh, it's nothing fancy okay and after that uh, maybe preview this off and save okay okay so now I have these uh, so the first one is the original twisted boxes which is uh, those now let's let me preview this off so those were the original I would like to uh, get the second and the third uh, they are b-ribs I would like to make them a twisted boxes but if I copy and paste this uh, I will not get anything especially if you want to see in here you will have uh, output uh, twisted boxes in here you will have nothing because this needs uh, a little bit of editing so this tangle and double click uh, you can see that this one in here uh, needs needs to take to be taken care of uh, off so uh, if I ignore this and import this one in here now I will have my twisted boxes so I would like to see a tree branch of these uh, this is not what I need so I need this to be two mm, actually this is not what I need I need this to be three yeah so this is a full uh, uh, let's say a full uh, branch so that's what I need I want them to be uh, fully connected like this so that's perfect for now and simply uh, maybe we, we we need to ignore this okay and save and uh, I would like to do now now we have our twisted boxes perfectly as you can see in here we have uh, a lot of groups and a lot of uh, ungroups so control c control v i would like to do the same in here okay but still uh, in here it doesn't work so uh, let's jump back and see before we jump back we need to do this do to distangle this and jump back so it it's not working in here because uh, you know uh, there is too many uh, too many elements let's say um, one okay and give me a tree branch of this so the tree branch is basically those no I would like to flip whatever we do in here uh, of course not flip matrix maybe flip matrix let's try flip matrix flip matrix it is giving me this so I think uh, it's working maybe okay okay no problem let's let's keep it like this and simply ignore this and save so now I have the second one maybe make it a little bit away so now I would like to 
see what's going on in here uh, as you can see in here we already uh, made a, a sub D cluster to fix everything to it so let's mo move this a little bit away I would like to get a meshes from here because uh, I, I would like to merge uh, all of these meshes let me show you okay do not take so much time please okay uh, I would like to get let, let me hide these sorry preview off as you can see I would like to get these meshes from all of the building the first one and the second one and the third one I would like to get them uh, specifically uh, outside it uh, and connect them with the, with the older ones so it will be easily to manipulate and transform transform them into sub D uh, why I didn't do this from the beginning because when you when you join meshes uh, they are exploded and you want to join them it will need so much time to calculate but since we are already joined them in here it will be easier to calculate them so now I would like to distangle this and double click so I would like to okay where we are yes sorry about that let's remove this and remove this yeah these are the connections this one is the wall let's keep it because I will I will not use yeah this one I will join it with with the one above so I will remove it this one I will join it with the one above I will remove it and this one is already the front glass so I will keep it so now I will have these two sub D right here I will use them keep them right here preview off and otherwise I would like to extract these meshes that I created in here so now I will simply grab these okay and uh, extract the mesh and control C control V okay join these in here perfect control C control V and bring me those meshes in here and in here make this up make this up perfect so now why I move this one in here because I want to get the four meshes that I need and after that I will get the sub D if I made this in here I will get the, the output differently so let's keep it in here and this is the cluster that I need for this one so now let's save and close okay so now these are the meshes now, as you can see the sub D in here is is getting inside this so that's perfect uh, okay okay after this I would like to make uh, I would like to join before I do this I need to do the same thing in here let's move this I should not distangle actually because I will copy everything and do it again so control C control V take your time don't take so much time control C control V okay control C control V this one in here and this one in here move this and move this control C control V and this one uh, at the end okay so now we have these let's add them to their groups add 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 to group so that's perfect 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 okay after that I would like to join them 
actually before before I continue now I would like to get those right here and simply join these ones that we created yeah this one in here and uh, instead of uh, getting these I would like to get uh, actually let's see which one are these so these ones are the vertical so they should be fully connected so I think this one let's zoom these one are the closed one so no I would like to get these okay so this one will be the geometry and this one will be the box so if I if I move this let's check these out and zoom and maybe select the white one okay so they are connected which is perfect as you can see they are connected in here and will make uh, an interesting uh, an interesting uh, connection uh, and cantilever okay uh, I would like to do the same thing in here Control C, Control V. Uh, but of course, instead of uh, this one, I like to join this one instead. So again, get me this and zoom out a little and zoom in in here and get me these. I'm sorry, these should be the twisted boxes. Okay, ungroup these. Okay, these twisted boxes and uh, join okay but instead of this I would like to to get this geometry and get this twisted box uh, this reference box okay so they will be like this connected to each other vertically and they are closed so that's perfect okay preview off and zoom add these to the group perfect maybe you should move this back anyway so after finishing this we need to merge or, or, or not merge we need to uh, you know connect this connect them all uh, hello uh, para, uh, para storm lab thank you for joining me I actually like your uh, videos uh, on YouTube they are uh, interesting uh, let's uh, join let's yeah weld or join uh, any any anyway let's uh, flatten and invert so uh, I'd like to join this this one yep the first one with the first one with the first one again the first from all okay that's perfect kind of uh, and after that we need to uh, ma make it into sub D sub D from mesh and make sure that the corners stay corners or maybe not let's keep them like this and simply join it will take a moment now it's perfect so what what we did right here is simply creating the same meshes for all the tower and do not connect them all at once because it will make uh, your proce your processor or graphic card having a hard time so that's that's the first one we need to make the same in here but we need to make this hidden because it will be uh, messy so now I have these okay and simply uh, join this in here okay I would like to do the same control C control V 
and now I would like to input the second one let's hide this okay and let's hide this preview off let's hide anything shown there is something showing in here yep this preview off okay so now let's zoom back to this perfect I would like to add all of the similar parts for for all of them so now simply uh, convert add the second one we added the second one in here and add the second one okay the second one make sure to hit the shift when you are uh, selecting the second one the second one and finally this one so it should be yeah it should connect uh, create a full uh, a, f a full uh, let's say let me show let me show it in the rendered uh, view so it will be cooler preview off and go to the rendered aha uh -huh. We need to enable this and zoom. Yes, so everything is connected perfectly. Yep, and in here we have the glass. Why is it shown? Did I connect the glass? Aha, uh -huh, the glass uh, from the first one is connected, sorry. So no need to, to show the glass now. Yeah, so this is now uh, all are welded and all, all are sub-D. For some reason it looks uh, cracked, I don't know why. Let's invert this. Um, I don't know, let's invert this. Let's see what's what will happen. I feel like I shouldn't done that. Okay. That will take a moment. I hope it will not take so much. Do you guys have any questions? Please, please do not waste everything I did. The problem is I didn't save the Rhino. So if I, if I closed everything I did now, it will, you know, damage whatever I did the Rhino. The Grasshopper will, will, uh, will get me the recovery, but Rhino doesn't. So that will be annoying. So I have to wait. I'm so sorry for that. So uh, until he finish, uh, uh, this is the last, uh, the last, uh, let's say, uh, webinar of this series. The next series will be uh, in both English and Arabic because so many uh, Arabic friends uh, ask me to. Uh, do it in Arabic so I will do it in two days in a row uh, the first day will be in English and the second day will be in Arabic uh, it will be the uh, uh, each webinar of the series will be uh, 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 
you know explained twice once in Arabic uh, once in English and, and once in Arabic so uh, let's hope this finish please please do not do this Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. My RAM is full. Welcome, Adrian. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Sorry, guys, for this waste of time. Yeah, it's calculating something. I I shouldn't uh, hit the interpolated uh, in in the in the sub D, and it's calculating, and I don't have an option to, uh, you know, to turn it off. I can't turn it off. So I hope it's. Come on. No, it will not crash uh, if uh, because it's it's uh, it looks very co complex. But if you are working with meshes, uh, meshes are very very light to work with. So uh, you can create something very very complex like this, and uh, it will not crash. But uh, make sure at the end uh, to you know each group of meshes make them in a in a in a in a separate uh, sub D uh, sub D uh, component so it will uh, it will not take so much time to calculate and uh, it will and also it will show you the result meshes are great to work with especially when you have so so heavy geometries like this and also the the amazing thing with with sub d is that uh, based on meshes so you can create a fancy uh, organic geometries and it will not lay, uh, take so much uh, let's say so much uh, storage or so much uh, uh, RAM or, or uh, things like that Yeah, the Morpheus Hotel tutor uh, tutorial was really uh, complex and uh, great, but it wasn't uh, that much uh, uh, It wasn't meshes because it was ba basically surfaces and b ribs and uh, a lot of uh, complex uh, uh, complex 
let's say data management and also it was uh, it was uh, it was really uh, crazy because it wasn't easy to make uh, uh, to make the structure that is organic in the same time and simple and uh, creating an, uh, uh, the nodes uh, the structural nodes that f uh, join them together so it was really crazy to create it I'm sorry I have to turn this off and uh, turn it on again because it will take forever and it will not I think it will not work so again let's go in here Do you know where to find the autosave? Okay, I think it's... Uh, the autosave should be in the C, I think, in program data. McNeil. Rhino source seven. I don't remember. Okay, let's say auto save. Rhino auto save. Okay, auto save. Sorry, program files, McNeil, no, okay, users, default, app data, program files can you see McNeil users I forgot where is the Rhino 7 advanced files, yeah, files, yep, open this, it's app data, local, McNeil, Rhino source, okay, so, app data, McNeil, okay, where is the app data, McNeil, local, Dinosaurs 7, yep, auto save. Aha. Uh -huh. Which one? We have those two. So is it this one? No, 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 no. Is it this one? No, so 
Okay, let's open our file and This is not cool to happen in a live stream. Okay, so let's select this and delete it and uh, go to go to the shaded mode. Go to here, show me the units. I created them, but they are not the same as I created in the live stream today. So, if I go to grasshopper, grasshopper, okay, I will create, uh, I will move on with the, with the older ones that I created uh, in the last stream. But for now, uh, open the recovery. Grasshopper is great with recovery, but Trino is not, so I don't know why. But I will figure out this problem later. So now let, let's see. Yeah, as you can see in here. They are not great, so I will select those because those were working, enable and show preview on. Yep, these are the ones that I created in here and they are working, so I will select them instead of the, instead of these. Okay. Yep, this um, not in here. Sorry. Okay, so now this one is the the closed one. And these ones are review on. Preview on. Preview on. Okay, the closed one is the the, the one in here. So this one is the closed one okay so this is the geometry and this is the twisted box okay um this one is not interpolated let's keep it like that let's dis disable this for a moment just until we fix this okay and after that um, this one is here, this one is here, this is the geometry, and this is the twisted box. Okay, so that's perfect. Now let's review this off. And now enable. Okay, now let's move on to ink. So that's perfect. Now let's control C, control V. Uh, the third one, I guess, will be tricky because uh, not all the third ones uh, we need, or maybe not. Maybe let's select the third one. Yep, the third one is. Uh, it should be all the same. This one, this one. 
This is the third. Okay. Um, this is the third. And in here, yes. Okay, so this should be uh, connected uh, well with the cantilever and everything. Control C, Control V. After that, the fourth in here and in here uh, this the mesh the mesh the fourth one okay this mesh The fourth mesh. Do not take so much time, please. And the fourth mesh in here. So This is not working as it's supposed to because uh, they are not uh, the same meshes as you can see in here. Uh, this mesh is not connected with this, so there's something wrong with the selection. That's why you need to select it perfectly. So I think the problem is in here. Let's double click and see what's going on. Uh, we have uh, five groups, not six, so this should not be here. And we have the first one. I'm sorry, let's uh, ignore what we did and distangle this. Double click. In uh, here we, ha we have five because they are uh, discard. In, in in the last two we have only five so let's distangle this and double click and in here it's five uh, so the last one will not be used and uh, this is the first element and the second element are perfect the th third element is uh, this okay the fifth element is this no I would like the fifth element to be uh, the glass so okay so we we don't need this this is the glass so I will simply extract it right here this is the glass so simply select this one in here and ignore whatever happens in here and uh, I don't want this mesh I want these right here so that's what happens again again I'm sorry this is the first this is the second 
we have one more mesh control c control v this is the glass no this is the first the second why everything is crumbling on me today this is the first the second the third the third is not the glass the third is should be this okay and the fourth should be th this and this should be the glass This is the glass, yeah. This is the, the this part. Okay, let's hope it's working. So let's close. Okay. And ignore this. Control C, Control V. Thank you, uh, BC13. You have a. What's your name? And let's add this to the group. Okay. So now let's this this will be add to the first one. It's important that uh, you are organizing your your things. Okay, and shift. This is the second. And this is the third. And there is no fourth and fifth in here. So it should be like this. This is the third. We didn't input this. Okay. This one is perfect. This one is perfect. This one is perfect. This one has a problem. Because it's not connected in here, if you see it. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm totally confused. I'm so sorry. Let's uh, go to the mesh. Go to the mesh. Check which meshes. This is the fourth. Okay, show me the fourth in here. Okay. And the third, okay, so no, okay, so the second,
not the second it, sh it should be the third I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This should not be sub D. That's why I'm I'm circling around. That's why I'm circling around. This should not be sub D. This is the one that I'm looking for and it should be mesh. I'm so sorry. I need my coffee. Okay. 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 Now it should be working. Now it should be working. Please. Yes, this fourth one, it should be with a fourth in there. So now I will simply remove this. And now I have these. So I will simply select the fourth one. Yes, 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 yes. And now the final fourth. I'm sorry for, for this weird kind of thing. So now, yeah, it should be working perfectly if I hide this. Now all of the sub D is working. After that, all I need to do is simply merging them because I have a sub D in here and other four. So I would like to merge the, f the, f the first sub D with the first sub D and the first sub D which is basically the, the behind wall or, or the entrance wall, the sub D in here and the sub D in here, sub D in here. Yep, I will not join these because these are glass. So I will keep them for, for later and simply uh, merge again. But in here, I will merge these with these, with these, with these. Okay, and finally, these. And now we have our own, uh, the full sub D parts. So I will simply merge them in here and preview this off preview all of this off so now uh, after this I will uh, get the glass so let's organize our things a little bit okay uh, of course I hate the spaghetti so I will go to here and select this and select it and uh, hidden let's control where display I don't like to see uh, spaghetti in my script so now I will actually I will create a new merge it will be easier and simply select the sub D in here which will basically be the glass the sub D uh, almost done sub D sub D sub D The final, the final, and I would like to uh, use the same thing select and hidden, ignore, and now embed this one in here. So, preview all of this off. Now let's see, uh, let's preview anything off in here. Yep. And simply see what's going on. Preview on, not preview on, let's preview off, but like, let's make it enable and simply uh, go to the rendered mode. So now we have uh, our, our tower is fully connected and all of the sub D parts are, are totally there, the glass, everything. Uh, 
based on the the things that we created uh, in here based uh, based on the unit that I created on on the first uh, on the beginning of this session it should look uh, different than this because it will it will have uh, a connection in in the front in here and it will create a, a terrace in the back and a terrace in the front with with an extension cantilever but for now this is the older version that I created uh, also uh, when I go to the front not the maybe not to the, to the front you can see that it's it's looking weird in here so I will fix this by basically uh, maybe disable this for a moment and show this okay so now I will have uh, let me show you something okay let's go to the period select these so you can see that these are uh, rotating perfectly but these are uh, looking a little bit weird because they are not uh, the same uh, let's say level in height so if I change this for for instance let's say this I would like to make it because I want to make my tower looks a little bit higher so I will make this 10 okay and before yeah and I would like to make this 80 so my tower will will have more 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 th more great looking and also looks a little bit taller so yeah so now if I go to here you can see let's enable this before I enable I would like to see control s and control s and enable let's see how much time it will take to process everything from scratch almost so let's see yeah and as a, as you can see it's uh, it already uh, created everything from scratch so uh, it will not take so much time uh, because it's meshes yeah and it's already created I have a little bit faster computer uh, alhamdulillah but uh, even if you have a slower computer it will not take so much time to create such a complex heavy geometry like this and also uh, it will it, it will uh, and uh, even you can add more complexity to this and you can uh, process it easily especially if you controlled your data structure very well that's what I want to show you can simply preview this off and this is the final result uh, you can see uh, the balconies in here uh, it looks a little bit yeah it looks great uh, of course uh, the connection in here it will look more more great uh, and also you have these uh, three trusses in here uh, also with more like an itch uh, connection in here it will look more great it will look more more great so that's it for today and that's it for this session uh, this file will be available on the Patreon uh, for my Patreon supporters the grasshopper and the rhino uh, let's go back to here and uh, let's go back to present we were here I guess yeah uh, thank you so much for for joining me today. This is my Patreon. You can find it in the description of the video and also on the description of the channel. Uh, also, you can find all of these uh, files and all of these lectures. Uh, these are the lectures that uh, the webinars that we did. You can find them in Patreon also, and you will find all of the. Uh, of the files uh, including part 3 and also part, part 4 will be uh, available after this session uh, and I will show also the final result of after I edit uh, the part that I created uh, in the beginning and show you the final result on Instagram and social media uh, on Facebook and also on Behance after I finish uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and see you soon in the next series Thank you so much. Have a nice day.